welcome to No Mas. I'm your host, Emma Garcia, joined by Rico Gathers and Byron Jones here in studio competing against each other to see who knows their teammates better. I hope you guys enjoy this episode because the superstar right here, man, it took a lot. It took a lot to drag Don't him, drag Don't him to that. the studio and get him here. He's a busy guy. And Rico, do you feel that you're getting to know your teammates a lot more this year? Oh, yeah. Being around them, knowing their tendencies. Yeah. <laughs> now, Byron, you were here on the show last year. I was. But this does not give him an advantage. This is just a fun show where they're just completely random questions. So you're going to see a question, pop on screen with a set of multiple choice answers. Pick whichever answer you think fits with the person we're talking about. First question, what is Jeff Heath? Go to food. Lost. You already lost. A. <laughs> buffalo wings. I eat with him all B, the time. B. Mm -hmm. French fries. C. Salad bowl. D. Steak. Now you're gonna have a. You're gonna hear the ding when time is up. Man. That is it. Time's up. Show us your answers. Hey, how you know that, bro? <laughs> Everybody loves buffalo That's wings, true. fam. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants no French fries or salad. You're right. What about a steak? Steak I don't even eat That's steak. a meal. Are you talking yeah. about go-to food? Go-to, no, man. Okay. Yeah. You got, this, you got this figured out. Let's Yo, hear the answer. Probably buffalo wings. Yeah. Uh, just because I like spicy food. And um, I don't know. That, that's my go-to. That's a video a long time ago because he's throwing hey. his hair out. And that was short hair right there. So. That's from the when the season started. Okay, so yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah back in when the, the season back started. In the <laughs> back in the day. It's a long season, but, <laughs> well, not really. It moves by very quickly, at least for us on the outside. But you both get a point. Good start to the game. Let's move on to the next one. Mm. What is Amari Cooper's pregame ritual? A, lap the field. B, kick every pylon. C, listen to rap. D, pray. <laughs> well, I mean, this is kind of tricky, though. Yeah, talk to me. It's kind of tricky. Tell me, tell me why it's tricky. <laughs> it's Wait, not really tricky. Is, is that the bell? Time's up. Yeah. It started. It, <laughs> quick. You gotta think quick. Don't show him. <laughs> I think it's deep. All right, what's your <laughs> big prey? He's a quiet dude. He's uh, very into himself, so I'm thinking he just, like, prays between him and God and just lets it all out on the field, I think. He's my locker mate, so Man. I see what he does. He be trapping? Yeah, he, he be in his own zone with his headphones on, so okay. I'm assuming he listens to rap. Let's hope you're assuming right. Let's hear the answer. I don't really have any pre I, I mean, I pray before every game. Damn. So I told say you, that. man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no, I Maybe told you it was tricky. And then listens to rap. Could I be, told you it was be. tricky. All right, you take on the lead, Byron. Thank you very much. One Thank point you. for you. So it's two, one. Moving on to the next one. What is the scariest movie that Jordan Lewis has ever seen? Mm. A. <laughs> mm. <laughs> A Quiet Place. <laughs> B. Jaws. C. Mama. D. Scary Movie. I don't trust Jordan Lewis to pick like the actual scariest movie on this list. That's the thing. He, I know he's scared of a lot of dumb things. So. <laughs> All right, time's up. Show us your answers. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. What's What'd you mama? pick, Mama? I pick Mama because like it's like the most. It stands out more than any of the other ones. I mean, a quiet place is scary. Jaws not really scary. Scary movies not scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but it is Jordan we're talking about. You never know. Yeah, you yeah, never know. Exactly. <laughs> Why'd you go with the quiet place? When you think about Jaws and scary movie, those. Those are old movies. Those aren't scary anymore. So I'm thinking Jordan probably went to the movies recently and he saw the most recent movie on the list that I know of in this quiet place. Yeah. Okay, that's a fair choice. Let's hear his answer. Scariest movie I've ever seen. Ah, that's a hard one. That's definitely hard. Have you ever seen Mama? Mm. Wait, what? Uh, it was like, it was just like no. this ghost, like old lady. What's, the, what's that just, movie? I've never watched it. Mama. Sorry, it's kind of yeah. Man. <laughs> I haven't seen it either, but he said it's about an old lady. I don't know. No, nah, Quiet Places. Yeah, yeah. I, that's up there, ain't it? Scary. Yeah, that's up there. Yeah, but. You get one point to tie the game. Eight, Let's eight, listen to eight, the next question. Eight. What would Lyle Collins name his boat? A, Tiger Bait. Those are some good. B, Fish Finder. C, Casper. D, Flyel Fishing. Dang. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. All right, show us your answers. We're gonna start with you, Byron. 
I know, I know Lyle's personality. He's quiet, but when he's in the locker room, he's close with you. Flyo, fishing sounds like something he will say 100%. I think that's the answer. Okay. Well, I mean, you know when you go down at LSU, you know, you normally consider, to play them, that's you consider Tiger Bay. I think that's a trip. Oh, is it really? Yeah. I didn't Tiger Bay, baby. <laughs> Let's hear him. Come on, man. The fish finder. Oh! <laughs> yeah. You know, Why well, so generic fish. though? That's like, he just said, fish, he's fish like, finder. <laughs> Fishfinder.com. Yeah, like, come on, man. <laughs> what? He said he catches all the fish. He really uh, don't, so that, that's kind of funny. Have you guys been fishing with him? Not yet. Not yet. I mean, he, he invites me to things, but then he like backs out last minute. So I don't even know if we're even friends, to be honest. <laughs> so he knows the story. All right. He knows. Well, it's still a tie. Let's move on to the next question. Who were Travis Frederick's favorite players growing up? A. <laughs> Okay, let's stop real quick. If I mispronounce one of these names, just I won't let laugh. me know. Oh. Just let me know. Just let me know. A. Brian Erlacher and Allen Kruth. B. Brett Barb and John Elway. C. Michael Jordan and Scotty Pippen. D. Mark Stepnowski and Larry Allen. Wow. Okay. Mm. Big Trav. <laughs> Ready? Show us your answers. Tell me your answer first. <laughs> oh, I picked the wrong one. How? How? <laughs> Who'd you pick A? I don't know why I picked that, but I meant to put B. I don't know why they say A, <laughs> but I meant to put B. Not focused, man. All right, why'd you pick B? I know, I know Travis is a, a Wisconsin guy. I know he, he had to grow up watching Brett Favre back in the day. It has to be one of his favorite players. All right, let's dun, hear dun, the dun. answer. Growing up, I watched the Chicago Bears, so I really enjoyed watching Brian Urlacher play and also the center Owen Cruz. <laughs> oh, you from Wisconsin and you watching Brian Urlacher? <laughs> I'm gonna talk with you. <laughs> fake hey, hey, <laughs> he's fake for that. Although so you, good, you had a little confusion there, so that good. was the final answer on your board. So three, no, no take two, back. now. We have the extra point question, fact or fib? Let's make this worth two points. Okay. You just have to guess which statement is true mm -hmm. about Zach Martin. Mm. A, his brother plays for the Colts. B, he has a real estate license. C, he was a basketball standout in high school. Mm. Kinda tricky. It is tricky. Time's up. He didn't put an answer down, so I feel like he should be wrong off the bat. <laughs> I'm not bringing up. You have school. your answers? I do. Your answer? You ha are you done? Okay, show it to us. Ooh. He didn't even. Okay. <laughs> Let's start off with you, Byron. His brother does not play for the Colts. Plays for the Texans. I met him. Better guy than Zach, I say. <laughs> um, I, I feel like he wouldn't have time to get a real estate license. He's the best guard in the league. Who has time for that? Right. And he's pretty athletic. He runs routes before every game, so I, I, basketball just makes sense. He definitely was a basketball standout. Do you have a different reasoning? True. I mean, real estate, I mean, you know, I could see him wanting, you know, get yeah, yeah, real estate in his spare time, but not right now. I would have to go with the one that's more past tense. Okay, let's hear his answer. I wanted to play basketball in college. Played AU all the way up through like sophomore year of high school, and then 6'4", big man, really, you know, you're not going to go go big time at a, as no being shot. a center at 6'4", so I made the switch to football. <laughs> there is, you both get the answer right, but unfortunately, <laughs> you lost by one point, Byron. It is what you it have is. A price for oh, oh. A dart? Anyway. Oh, man, it's going straight <laughs> to the little homie, man. Little Rico is going to love this. This is one less thing I have to go shop for, for Christmas. There you go, you have to just wrap it up and that's it. Exactly. That's perfect, man. Perfect. Hey. Well, see? congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm glad you finally made it in studio. Glad to have you here, Byron. Glad that you were able to come in and compete and steal the prize. <laughs> now I know why you needed it. You know, you wanted to go through the superstar treatment, yeah. you know what I mean? For that butt whipping. <laughs> now you can catch the golf court back. Can I go walk? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rico. Thank you, Byron. Thank you guys at home. That is it for today. We'll be back next week with another episode of Snowmass.